Okay, today we're going to be talking about divisibility and the rules that come with divisibility. So first I need you to stop and make sure you have this paper and a pen or pencil to take notes with. Okay, we're going to start with this middle box because it discusses the definition of divisibility. Divisibility, it says a whole number is divisible by another when the quotient What does quotient mean again? Is a whole number and the remainder is zero. And remember, remainder is when you finish your steps and there's nothing left, so it's zero at the end. So only, it is only divisible when the answer to the division problem is a whole number, not any decimals or fractions, and there's no remainder. So I wanted to make sure it's perfectly divisible. Okay, so let's go back up to this top corner now. Factors. Let's pause and remember what factors are. Yes, factors are the numbers that make the multiplication problem. So two times three equals six, the two and the three are factors. Okay, so it says factors can be useful when a number is divisible by another number, then it also is, I'm going to put is here, is divisible by each of the factors of that number. Okay, so let's talk about our 2 times 3 again. So 2 and 3 were factors of 6. So if it's divisible by 6, then it's also divisible by its factors, which is 2, 3, and 1. So remember, every number can be divided by 1. Every number has a factor of 1. So that's why 1 is not included on this list, because every number is divisible by 1. And remember, when you're dividing by 1, you get good, the same answer. Okay, so that's why 1 is not on here. So let's go through the rules now. It says rules. A number is divisible by 2 if the number... And if you write outside these lines, it's okay, is even. Okay, so which of these is an example of an even number? Okay, good. So remember, our even numbers in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So let's write these outside. So we remember them. Okay, so next one is it's divisible by 3. Just to remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. Make sure you're keeping up with the notes and paying attention. And if you need to rewatch the video, you can do so. So a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits. of the number is divisible by 3. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. So we're going to take our sheet of paper. If you need to go get a sheet of paper, please go do so. So if we have the number 63, so remember, digits are numbers. So 6 is a digit and 3 is a digit. So this is a two-digit number. So sum means to do what? Good. Sum means to add. So we're going to add the two digits. So we'll do 6 plus 3, which equals 
good, nine. Okay, and now we just have to see if nine is a multiple of three. Okay, if nine can be divided by three. So can nine be divided by three? So if we're looking, three times one is what? Three, three times two, six, Let's do times one times two, and then we have three times three is nine. So yes, three, nine is divisible by three, and it can go into it three times. And double check, so we multiplied, no, we divided, no, we multiplied, three times three is nine, then we subtract, and nine minus nine, zero. So it's perfectly, that means it is divisible. So 63 would be divisible by 9 because the sum of the digits, the two numbers, is divisible by 9. Okay, we're going to switch back over here. Now we have 4. So if, if it's divisible by 4, if the last two digits are divisible by four. Okay, so let's go ahead and experience this one as well. So we're gonna switch back to our paper. I'm gonna scoot it up. So if I had 324, so let's look at our digits again. So this has one, two, three digits. Okay, so it wants to see the last two digits. So our last two digits are 2, 4, 24. So it's saying that 324 could be divisible by 4 if the last two are divisible by 4. Okay, so we got to look at our multiples again. So let's write our multiples of 4. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And look, that is the number that we are looking for. So is the last two divi digits divisible by 4? Yes. We see 24, 24. So let's just check that to make sure it's right. So we have 324 divided by 4. So we know. Cheese burgers rare. Okay, so we're dividing. Can four go into three? No, because three is smaller than four. So we have to go to 32. Can four go into 32? Well, we've already made it to 24. Let's keep going. So 24, 28, 32. Perfectly. So we know they can go into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So we divided because we know eight can go right here. Now we multiply. So four times eight is 32. Now we subtract. Two minus two is zero. And three minus three is zero. So we're checking. Four couldn't go into three, so we had to go to 32. Four could go into 32 eight times. Eight times four is 32. Two minus two is zero. Three minus three is zero. We're good. Now we must bring down and we repeat. Okay, back to division. Can four go into four? Well, is it up here? Yes, right here. Four can go into four one time. Divide, now we multiply, one times four. Now we subtract, four minus four. Oh, sorry, is zero. Now we check, could four go into four? Yes, one time, one times four is four, four minus four is zero, good. Bring down, we have nothing to bring down, we're at zero, so there's no remainder, so it's perfectly divisible by four. So that trick works. Now back to our paper. Five. 
A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 5 or 0. So this is kind of like our even numbers. If it ends in it, if it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, it's even. This one, if it ends in 5 or 0, it's divisible by 5. So this was regardless to how many digits there are. Remember, we're always looking at our last digit. Okay, so that one's just looking at the numbers. So by 6, a number is divisible by 6 if the number is both divisible by 2 and 3. Remember, we talked about this earlier. 2 and 3 were factors, back up to our factors, of 6. So if they both, if it gets divisible by 2 and 3, then it's already div divisible by 6. So you don't even have to do anything extra. So if the number is even and the sum, remember we talked about the sum, the sum of the two digits or three digits equals is divisible by three, then it would be divisible by three. So this number, 63, is not even. So it would not be divisible by six because it did not get divisible by two and three. But if we take a look, Oh, I'm gonna scoot up. And we use, mm, let's see. Sixty six. Okay, so sixty six. Let's look at our two. 3 and 6 is what we're looking at right now. Okay, so is the number even? Looking at our rules. By 2, if the number is even, it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Yes, it does. So we can check off it's divisible by 2. Okay, now we need to see if the sum of the digits, so remember sum means add, so if 6 plus 6 equals something that's divisible by 3. Well, we know 6 plus 6 equals... 12. Okay, so 6 plus 6 equals 12. Well, if we looked where we were going with up here, 3, 6, 9, well, we don't have any more. Let's keep going. 4 times 3 equals 12. So it is divisible by it. So this would be divisible by 3 as well. And since we checked off both, it was divisible by 2 and 3, then it's automatically divisible by 6. And yes, we know that 6 times 11 equals 66. That would be an easy check. Okay, back over to here. Okay, 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So this is back to our 3 rule. We had to do the sum of the digits again. So I'm going to take my paper again. I'm going to do this little corner over here. Okay, so if I did 261, okay, so this is a one, two, three digit number, and sum means to do what? Yes, add, so we have two plus six plus one. What does 2 plus 6 plus 1 equal? That's 9. Okay, so we know if this divisible by 9, we're looking, is 9 a multiple of 9? Yes, it is, because 9 times 1 is 9. So 9 
is divisible by 9. So we wouldn't even have to divide. We just know that automatically that that 261 is divisible by 9. Okay, a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Okay, so let's look at the difference between the divisible by 5 and the divisible by 10. Switching back to my paper. Use this little box. Okay, so let's look at 255, 260, and 450. Okay, 255, if we look, it's not even. So it, we're just looking at the last digits, which is always in our ones place. Okay, so the ones that talk about the last digits are 2, 5, and 10. So 2, it's not even, so it wouldn't be by 2. 5, it ends in a 5 or a 0. Yes, it ends in a 5, but not a 0. So yes, it would be divisible by 5. And 10, if the last digit is a 0. Again, it's not a 0, so this one would be divisible by 5 and not 10. Now, if we looked at this one, by 2, if the number is even, it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Well, it ends in a 0, so it is divisible by 2. By 5, if the last digit is a 5 or a 0, well, it is a 0, so it is divisible by 5. And 10 says, if the last digit is a 0, well, it does it in a 0, so it's divisible by all 3. And that was just by looking at the number. Last one, same thing, it ends in a 0. So does it end in an even number? Yes, it ends in a zero, that's even. Does it end in a five or a zero for five? Yes, it ends in a zero. And 10, does it end in a zero? Yes, it does. So those are three numbers that all you have to do is look at it. Okay, back to our notes. Is 45 divisible by five? Well, if we look at our rules for five, if the last digit is a 5 or a 0, the last digit is a 5, so is it? Yes, because it ends in a 5. Now this one. Is 39 divisible by 2? So we're looking at 2. If the number is even, ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. This does not end in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So is it divisible by 2? No, because it ends in a odd number. Let me use the number sign. Okay, so now we need to know if it's divisible by 6. I'm going to use the stack of this paper where I have a little bit of space. Okay, so we're looking at 42 if it's divisible by 6. Okay, so I'm going to write out 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. Okay, I have my rules right here to the side. You should have yours as well. Okay, so two, is the number even? Does it end in two, four, six, eight, or zero? Yes, it does, so it is divisible by two. By three, if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by three. Well, remember sum means we have to add, and there's two digits, one, two. So we're gonna do four plus two, which equals Yes, 6. Okay, and we're looking at the multiples of 3. So count by 3. We have 3, 6, oh. So is it divisible by 3? Yes. Now, is the number divisible by 4? If the last two digits are divisible by 4. Well, we're already looking at the last two digits because there's only two digits. 
So we can either count by fours or use our multiplication chart or write out the multiples of four. Let's count by fours. We have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44. So we had 40 and 44. So no, it is not divisible by four because we did not count to 42 when we counted by, oh, I'm sorry, this must be an X. No, it is not. Okay, now five. Is the last digit a five or a zero? No, it is not, so it's not divisible by five. Six, if the number is divisible by two and three, is two and three already checked off? Yes, so is it divisible by six? Yes. Okay, if the sum of the digits is divisible by nine, well, we already added them and they equaled what? Six, okay. Can something be divisible by something that's smaller than it? For example, nine smaller than six. No, we couldn't divide that. So could it be divisible by nine? No. And last one, is it divisible by 10? If the digit, if the last digit is a zero, well, we already know the last digit is a two. So it's not a zero, so it cannot be divisible by 10. So we did all of the, all of the checks. Let's go back over here. It was only asking us for six. Did we check off six? Yes. So is it divisible by six? Yes, because it was divisible by two and three. Okay, I want you now to do these last two boxes. You only have to do the numbers that are saying. If you wanna check for all of them to get practice, you can but I just need you to see if 27 is divisible by three and why, and if 144 is divisible by four and why. Then when you finish this, I need you to use the teacher composition book that is at your independent station and glue it onto the page that it's glued in my composition book. Remember to only use four dots of glue and make sure you put it in the table of contents. Remember, if you have any questions, you may rewatch the video and then if you still have questions, make sure you use the parking lot questions. Thank you.